Essex. Um, off to see Ipswich Town against Preston. Almost the top of the table clash in the championship. Ipswich second, Preston third. Both had great starts to the season. So checking out the competition today because I'm a Sunderland fan. But um, Ipswich only beaten once at home since last November. They got some good, exciting players: Nathan Broadhead, Connor Chapman, Wes Burns. Preston started the season very brightly. Not many people were expecting them to be near the top. But um, yeah, hopefully a good game and um, see you at the stadium. This is the service to London Liverpool Street. Just waiting for the train now to Ipswich, watching the Sunday game. Sunday down to 10 men now. Dan Neil sent off. Anthony Patterson has um, just made a miraculous save. I don't know why I'm vlogging on the um, Sunday game because I'm, I'm going to the Ipswich match, but it's. It's actually red hot here, 23 degrees, October the 7th, glorious weather. Yeah, it looks quite healthy. Yeah, I'm trying to get some. Yeah, just arrived here in Ipswich station. Um, next stop on the train was Dis. Um, I was tempted to stay on the train, maybe have a day trip to Bungie or Beckles or Lowestoft. Um, happy memories of um, a lot of childhood summers staying in East Anglia. But um, going to the Ipswich game now, news through from Sunderland that we're getting beat 3-0. So I'll we'll have to write that one off now and then um, just check out the competition instead. So um, off to Portman Road we go. Hi. Yeah. Times are hard now for um, Supergrass, working at Ipswich train station. So he's, hello. Call me. Um, I think it will be three one Ipswich. It's a comfortable home win, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they score a lot of goals at home. Yeah. Who's going to score? Do you think? Um, Chaplin twice and an yeah. own goal. Own goal. Oh, I'll go for Chapman and then um, Wes Burns and then um, Preston to get a late one through. Will Kane two one to Ipswich. Yeah, can I just get oh, one? Yeah, cool yeah. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. I'm a Sunderland fan, so we love Martha Stewart as well. Um, oh, fantastic! Yeah, Enjoy. So, oh, no problem. Yeah. It was, I, I did the interview with him. Oh, he was did you? Oh, yeah. He's a gentleman. He's doing his bike well. ride and everything now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good luck. Yeah, thank you. No, enjoy. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Thank you. 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 Thank he was top scorer in the Premier League about 20 years yeah. ago. Really? Yeah, wow. and he uh, played for Ipswich and Sunderland. There's yeah, Eric Gates celebrating Ipswich's UEFA Cup win in 1981. Gates, really clever footballer. Loved his partnership with Marco Gabby Dean at Sunderland and um, he was in his pomp here at Ipswich for many years under Bobby Robson. George Burley, another player who played so long at Ipswich under Sir Bobby. And um, decent player at Sunderland. He was past his feet by then but always did a good job. The right back went on to be Scotland manager and a good manager here at Ipswich. There's Sir Bobby Robson from County Durham, of course, not Newcastle. Um, big legend. And this is the Sir Bobby Robson statue. There's Sir Bobby Robson there from County Durham. Spent the last few years of his life watching Sunderland, stayed in the light, having been um, pounded out in the castle. 
Uh, this is Mick Mills here, another great from Ipswich. Won the FA Cup in 1978 in the UEFA Cup. Played for England many, many times. And the wrong dream was. Uh, this is the statue of Kevin Beattie, voted Ipswich's greatest ever player. Tremendous defender, sometimes played midfield as well. Ipswich I on from the 1970s. And um, would have played for England many more times if it wasn't for his injuries, but um, brilliant player. And there's Sir Bobby up there again. And this is a statue of Sir Alf Ramsey, Ipswich manager from 1955 to 1963. And um, won the league for Ipswich in 1961 62. Um, which was a remarkable achievement. They'd only just been promoted the year before, and then, of course, using England team manager from 1963 to 1974. And, um, World Cup winner, the only manager in England to can say that, so that's off to Sir Alf. This is Sir Bobby Robson. And I think this picture sums up Sir Bobby Robson's effervescence, full of life. The teams that he had always played good football, loved how he brought the best out of Gaza. Manchester United nil. So Bobby's team in its pomp there in 1980 should have actually won the league the following season in 1981, but um, played so many games that Aston Villa picked them in the end, although credit to Villa as well. What a great team that season. There's Darren Ben there, who the was a short lived Sunderland legend, um, but sadly left under a sour taste. Sheeran will certainly be happy with the half-time score here at Palman Road with Ipswich 3, Preston 1, Ipswich dominated since kick-off three goals, Connor Chaplin, Brandon Williams and Nathan Broadhead with the goals, Preston did pull it back 1-1 but Ipswich 
definitely good value for the 3-1 lead and we're playing some wonderful football and definitely looking like you know, my promotion contenders at the moment. So 3-1 at half time and then uh, let's see if we score any more in the second half. Pressing pull it back now at 3-2. Game on. I'm pressing the start of this second half very brightly. Getting on top now and it's um, squeaky bum time if you so. Leaving Portman Road just before the 90th minute, um, got to catch the train back to Colchester. Um, looks like a comfortable win for Ipswich Town, 4-2 at the moment. Um, Preston briefly threatened to get back into the game. They were getting on top in the second half, had a good spell where they pulled it back to 3-2, but Ipswich broke away and got um, the crucial fourth. So Ipswich at the moment in second place in the championship, only Leicester ahead of them and it's looking like a Really fruitful season for the horses. Who? Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. Really? There's no way. Not too many twice. Twice in injury time. Twice. No, that's actually insane. Yeah. Oh my god, that's it's dramatic. Really... It's like when they won the European Cup in ninety nine. No, that's actually unreal. <laughs> that's so mad. Oh my god. Wow. Twice in injury time. Shh, on the way back. That's actually insane. Ten harms at the wheel. And Chelsea battered Burnley for one. Everton won 3 0. Oh, it is. That was insane.